Hi everyone, it's Lisa. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I am looking forward to a Christmas party tonight, but I wanted to share a few things about um, the year in travel that I've had. Um, sorry about the camera jiggle. Um, so it started with my journey from health. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that it took me a while to get healthy. I was, I was more than a little overweight, uncomfortable, just, you know, weren't feeling real great. And, um, so it started with the, as I said, the health journey, and then I had to make the decision to travel. Um, we're a former military family, so travel a lot of times spent was associated with a move. I don't know if you've ever made a move, uh, but it, if you haven't done it recently, I'll just leave it at, um, it's not as much fun as you might think. Uh, it's a lot of details. And so then we would get in the car and then we would start traveling. And sometimes the kids would be, you know, doing their thing, depending on how old they were. So when someone presented me with an opportunity to take a trip, I kind of sometimes look at them like, I really don't want to go. So, um, this time we were kind of, you know, far removed from that. The kids are older, they're out of the house and we decided Maybe we want to try some travel. You know, we'd like to see some things. We started seeing some pictures from friends of ours. Um, so um, the first decision we had to make was that we wanted to travel because now it's a little more fun. Okay. And then we did some visiting with family, but we also did some of the tourist stuff. You know, we stayed in some really nice hotels because um, we wanted to reward ourselves with after getting your health, you, I think you kind of need to, because let me just take a step back. It's a struggle to lose weight. It's a struggle to get healthy sometimes. And you just, the reward is nice. Um, so you do have to be careful, of course, not to slip back into those old habits. In my case, it's weight. So we're going to keep on a close eye on that. But so that so that we can travel and continue to have fun. We did some, you know, we saw, we saw some family. Uh, we had a great visit. We also went to some museums and played tourists. We celebrated our 40th anniversary, which is awesome. That's where we really, really had some fun playing tourists because that just showed me that, you know, hey, you can have fun. You can go to places. You can see things you've never seen before, meet people you've never met. Great. So, um, that was the decision that we had to come to. Uh, maybe you're at a crossroads, you know, maybe you need to make a decision to do some things that are different to, oh, I don't know, inspire you. Cause that's what I did. Part of my travel was, um, promoting a book. I got to read to some kids. It was great. I got to check out some awesome new mu museums that wanted to host my book. So that was part of travel for business. Travel for seeing family, well, of course, it's always good to reconnect. And then travel for fun, well, hey, who doesn't like fun? So anyway, um, if you, um, that's my year in travel. Now, our next year is probably going to look a little bit different. We're looking forward to traveling with our son. Um, he would like to go back to the place he was born, which is Hawaii, and just check it out because he doesn't remember it. He left when he was one. So what are you looking forward to doing next year? Where are you looking forward to going? If you don't have a goal in mind, maybe rethink it just to refresh your mind because sometimes staying stuck and in the same place is... You need a little inspiration to get things to change sometimes. Anyway, um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, I'll probably be popping in next week. I think I'm going to try and go back to some cooking. For those of you who've seen me before, you know that I've done some keto cooking. I think I'm going to try that with some holiday recipes. So take care. Bye.